Beginning from this video, we will start the white box testing techniques. And we have two major techniques which are statement testing and decision testing. This video, we will discuss statement testing or statement coverage. Statement coverage tries to cover all the statements in the code. So this is a code like we see here and each line of this code is called a statement. So the goal here is to cover 100% statement coverage, which means that we cover all these lines of code. So here the question is, what is the minimum tests required for statement coverage? Which means what is the minimum number of test cases required to achieve 100% statement coverage. So let's look at the code first. Here, this is a pseudo code. It is not written in a specific programming language. Discount equals zero. Order quantity equals zero. Those are given. Read order quantity. This means that you, the user, will enter the amount of order quantity. How many orders did you order? If the number of orders is more than or equals 20 orders, then make the discount five percent if number of orders is more than or equals 100 then make the discount 10 percent so if i make the order quantity for example 30 items okay so 30 is more than or equals 20 so this line of code and this line of code are done but we need another test case for example 150 if the order quantity is 150 this is more than 100 which justifies the other condition but what if we deleted the first test case what if we try one test case in which the order quantity is 150 is 150 more than or equal 20 yes then this line is done the second question is order quantity more than or equals 100 150 is more than 100 then this line also is done so here using only one test case i am able to achieve 100 percent statement coverage the second problem here he says how many test cases are necessary to cover all the possible sequences of statements or paths this is also meaning statement coverage here this is a function print sum integer a and integer b and we take the values of two integers and put them into the integer which is called result so result equals a plus b if result is greater than zero print red and result else if result is smaller than zero print blue and result how many test cases are required here we find that the result one time is more than zero and one time is less than zero those two conditions are impossible to be done in the same test case okay because you need the value of the result one time bigger than zero and one time less than zero so for example we will make one test case which is result equals 10 and another test case which is result equals negative 10 here we achieve 100 statement coverage because if and else if both are done using those two test cases so if we ask here which of these statement coverage will not check for it okay let's be clear anything that is written in the code statement coverage will check for it and notice it okay so unused the branch if you have a branch in the code that is unused statement coverage will check it if you have that code we will check it using statement coverage if you have unused statements it will be checked using statement coverage but missing statements that means that there is a statement that should have been here but it is not here this missing statement can't be known using statement coverage you have to go to the requirements to know that there is a missing statement that the developer forgot to write this statement 